With August Falter Road, everybody, you are most welcome back to my channel today. In today's lesson, what we are going to do is black velvet band. We'll do the strumming and the tab. So first, let's get into the strumming section. Okay, guys, there are our, um, a few chords we're going to need. We need a D chord, which is your second box G, little E, and third box B. You have a B minor bar chord uh, or a chord version. Now, the chord version is the second box little E. Next box, B, next box, uh, D and G, and you only strum the bottom four strings. Or if you change that first finger into a bar chord to cover all the second box, you can now strum all the strings. And we have an E minor chord, which is the second box, A and D string. We have an A7, which is the second box, D and B string. And we also have a regular A chord, which is the second box, D, G and B string. So the only difference between A and A7 is that middle finger. That's it. Okay, so the chords are up here to my side. Um, as you can see, there are three Ds. Now, every chord does two strumming patterns. So it does the full strumming pattern you see at the bottom, the down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. The only ones that don't are the E minor and the A7 that are underlined. So they share, so the E minor does one of them. And the A7 does one of them. So they share the strumming pattern, they're not um, doing two each. But every other chord does uh, follow the rule and does two strumming patterns. So if we start the song, you have three Ds, so you're doing that full strumming pattern three times. Then into your A chord. Back to your D. B minor. Now E minor for one. A7 for one, and D for two. Easy, so when I say two, that is one strumming pattern repeated twice, so that's what I mean, it's the full strumming pattern when I say two, and then the E minor and the A7 just do half of it, so to do one strumming pattern each, the down, down, up, down, up. And that is um, a common strumming pattern you'll find along a lot of Irish songs, so if you work on it now, you'll uh, definitely have the advantage later on when you try New songs. So when you try and put that to words, that's the whole thing, that's the verse and the chorus, that's all the strumming there is to the song, it's just that. So if you're going to play it guys, it should sound a little like this. As I went walking down Broadway, not intending to stay very long, I met with a frolicsome damsel, as she came tripping along. A gold watch she took out from her pocket, and placed it right into my hand On the very first day that I saw her Bad luck to that black velvet band Cause her eyes they shone like diamonds You'd think she was queen of the land With her hair thrown over her shoulders Tied up with a black velvet band so it's just that same D, 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 A, um, D, B minor, E minor, A7 sharing, and D the whole way through the song. That's all there is to the strumming. Let's get into the tab part now. So guys, for the uh, tab, it's not too complicated. It's the same melody over and over again. So just like the strumming, the same strumming chords over and over again, the melody doesn't stray too far either. It's the same melody over and over and over again that you can play for each verse. So if you wanted to play it as part of a band uh, or two piece, one person can do the strumming, one person can do the tab over and over again. They work very well together. Or if you wanted to loop it, so you could do the strumming on your first loop, do the tab on the second, second loop, and that will work the whole way through the song. You don't have to vary on it at all. So what we're gonna do is start on an A note, which is your G string number two. And that's gonna be your first note. And you hit that twice. So it's following the lyrics as I. Then it uh, changes to two on the G string, four on the D string, and then zero, two, zero on the G string, and then four on the D string. Okay, and um, then the next part, it starts on that four on the D string and it goes four, two, zero, and then uh, two, four, zero, then your upper string for the uh, A string, 4, 2, 0. 
it's easy. And then the next part starts again on the A, so it's G number two. Just one note. Uh, and then four, three times up on the D string. And then zero, two, four on the A string. And then zero, two, four on the D string twice. Then zero on the B string, or G string, sorry. Then four up on the A string. And then zero, two, zero, and you can put in an extra zero all on the D string. Easy. Okay, so that should sound a little like this. it. That's all there is to the song. You have the strumming and the tab both are played on repeat the whole way through the song. So I hope you liked today's lesson guys. Um, leave comments below. Let me know what you thought of the lesson. If you want more Irish style songs, um, send in those requests if you have any preferences. If you want me to go back to some modern style songs, let me know as well. But for today, that is it from me. Like it if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you next time.